where the dogs are all over the Gamecocks tonight. 38 to 10. Mike Bobo coaching against his alma mater. Well, we know for uh, turnovers this season. The standard now with Kirby Smart. No three interceptions and no fumble in this game, huh, South Carolina? In 2017, 18, and 19, at least through the SEC championship game, they were doing that. Chances are that's not the case this season. Yeah, outside looking in this year, all SEC schedule. You drop that game versus Alabama, and then you lose further ground. And you are incapable of capitalizing on plays that were there to be made. South Carolina has been messed up with injuries, quarterback situations, and, and just offensive problems of not being able to run the ball. You know, they got a couple whoopings. Um, Shot Smith, uh, I like their running back they got. But their quarterback situation with Colin Hill, a.k.a. Jake from Jesus Christ in the face. And the the daughter kid, you know, I don't know who's going to be the quarterback for South Carolina. Okay, they went from Hulinski to Colin Hill to Luke, the Luke Dotty. You're taking a look at that. This is a peek into the future, perhaps. You've got a guy, Luke Doty, who is nothing if not incredibly dynamic. The guy that you know, tonight has largely been bottled up as a runner and has quite a bit of ground to cover as a passer. But there's no doubt that his influence on his teammates and his ability uh, can have a big impact on what this offense can look like going forward. Harris is a sophomore. Doty is a freshman, so start there on offense. Senior Nick Muse has been a bright spot on offense this year. He's passed the 45 yard line for a first down. Nice move by Nick Muse. Not only took the tackle right away, but took him on first field. I got to tackle these dudes, man. Missed tackle. Who was that money rice again? A couple of Georgia defenders. Big gainer. William and Mary transfer. Nice season last year. 39 catches last two years. Doty skips one in there to Brooks. Of course, Nick's brother, Tanner. As well, and now is, or excuse me, Clemson, excuse me, can't make that mistake. Two time national champion there, and now he's playing for the Raiders. Fucking Falcons gotta play the Raiders tomorrow. I don't even know what they're gonna win. Todd Gurley out. So, I don't know what my Falcons gonna do tomorrow. In this offense, this season, we've had to have him step up. He's had a good game. Oh, look at this place blown up. Somehow, Zaquandre White playing both ways tonight mm. was able to get to the sideline. They blew that up with quickness. The Georgia Bulldogs were there in the backfield as the handoff was made. Well, that's how the defensive line, they just jet up field right now. Jalen Carter, he's seen that play enough times at this point, kind of anticipated. Blew up field and blew that whole mesh point and handoff up. You see a lot of pulling guards in this game. That penetration, I did that play. Well, Deshaun Fenwick tonight. Another grab by Muse, who's wrestled down at the 45-yard line by C. It'll be short after a pickup of 14. Oh, but just shy of it. The ball over the middle. Look like new second effort. Almost got it there. On fourth and one, White moves the chains. It's kind of been the story of South Carolina season. And guys playing both ways. Will Muschamp, head coach of the Gamecocks, until two weeks ago, was talking about that all season. That just week after week, the issues they had with availability is just Jalen Brooks with no place to go as Tyson Campbell 
takes him off his feet. But that was just a bust. Tyson Campbell is supposed to be blocked by the inside receiver. Slam his bitch ass. You wouldn't have set that up for a punt, but he looks out there and he's like, wait a second. You're supposed to be clean. Just a blocking assignment out there at wide receiver. Joe yeah! There you go, Campbell! Yeah, baby! No one to give them go to Spike. Uh, got you, bitch. Yo, he read the quarterback. He knew and he knew what he was gonna throw it to. Yeah, golden spikes. You earned them, son. Forty yard return gives Georgia the football towards the end of the third quarter at the South Carolina thirty one. To the ground, uh. McIntosh with those huge holes all night. This is ten more. In there now. Offensive front, right guard for Georgia. It's hard to believe that given the back and forth this rivalry has created in the 20th century, especially in this decade, in the last 10 years, with each team winning five times, this would be a get right game for Georgia's ground game. But that's been what it is tonight. McIntosh. Stumbles, but gets inside the 10-yard line. There's a flag down. White has 84 yards. McIntosh, depending on this call, holding. Offense number 50. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. He has 79 and puts over 100. Incredible performance by them tonight. Offensive line been making plays. Besides a couple flags and stuff, the offensive line been really opening up the holes for our running game. Center. Littles around this part of the field in the previous drive. Big boy, big Ben Cleveland. Run the football well, ends up with a receiver penalty, illegal formation, now a holding penalty. That's a big old country white boy right there. Touchdown lead into the fourth quarter in this rival. Fourth game. quarter. Between 15 more minutes. Kirby Smart and Mike Bobo. Latest big play by the dogs is an interception by Tyson Campbell. Gets to wear some hardware. 